Just so you know, there may be a little bickering in this video. Let's carry on. Good morning, how are you doing this morning? I am up, okay, and I am enjoying the morning. Okay, so let me just say this. I keep saying okay, but I'm excited. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm revamping my homeschool schedule because I've been watching some homeschool moms. Uh, one is this mama's house and the other one is rooted in rest, rest and rooted. Anyway, I love the way these mamas are doing their homeschool. So they get up first and they make sure they're up. They get their coffee or their tea. They make sure they get in their devotional time with the Lord. They make sure they get all of their chores done. They make sure that they cook breakfast. Then they get their kiddos up. Their kiddos eat breakfast, get dressed, blah, blah, blah. They start homeschool about 10. And I love that. 10 to about 2.30. And that way they're able to really focus when they're teaching their kids they're right there hands-on in the lessons with their kids and then at about 2 30 now it's lunchtime they cook up the lunchtime they wash the dishes they have some fun time with just the kids maybe they're playing games or whatever i'm loving it okay so i'm revamping some things so now yesterday was my first day trying it out elise and i got so much schoolwork done it was amazing we normally struggle at eight sometimes just getting in the groove we were in the groove we had pe we we're starting to do pe first too which helps us to mentally wake up clarity we get that time to talk and enjoy each other's company then we come in and we hit it and we were so productive yesterday so this is going to be day two of us trying it out um but i am um excited because i'm getting ready to do a serious clean on my freezer eco just be going to costco y'all and just getting stuff he don't say do we got room for this do we? the freezer is a mess so i'm getting ready to show you guys what the freezer looks like and then i'm going to clean the freezer out i have some bins that i think is going to really help to organize um from walmart and if I need to get more, then I will. Um, yeah. So that's what we're getting ready to do. I've been drinking tea out of my Mickey tea kettle with the matching cup. Okay, that I ordered from Shopping with Ray. Oops, I just spilled some of my tea. <laughs> so I'm excited to get this day going because um, I've had my devotional time with the Lord. Really great sermon I was listening to. Stephen Furtick. Then at least when she gets up, we go into our daily Bible reading. So I'm excited. The um, living room looks really good. And let me show you that. I got to fold some clothes. It looks really good, but let me show you. Oh, and before I show you that, let me just say welcome. <laughs> good morning. Let's start there first. Good morning. Welcome back. And welcome if this is your first time. You may have come as a guest, but you will certainly leave as a friend. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell notification. Set it to all so you're always notified every time we come out with a new video. Make sure to leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Um, but we do really appreciate your support, okay? So we just want to say welcome, all right? Um, you know what we always say. Grab your favorite snack. Get comfy and let's start cleaning up this freezer because my husband thinks we have a deep freezer and we literally don't have a deep freezer. If we had a deep freezer, you can go to Costco and buy all this stuff. But because we don't have a deep freezer, slow your road, man. Neverland family. Okay, so here's the setup. I still have my birthday decor up. 
not tripping. That stuff right there in the hallway is still Christmas stuff. <laughs> Haven't put that up because I'm organizing the garage and it's taking me a minute. All that mail has to go. It's like, we have some of our important information that we're gonna need uh, soon, so that's that. That corner right there is my birthday stuff that I have to open up with you guys on YouTube. I wanted you guys to see what I got for my birthday. I'm folding clothes. But other than that, it looks really neat. Loving the Ragabo. Um, and I just ordered me a nice runner from Target, a Mickey runner, subtle Mickey runner for my um, kitchen. Uh, that area is good. I have some dishes I need to wash over here. And then I got the bags right here. Because I'm going to need these to clean out this. Look at this freezer. Look at this. It's out of wax and I'm not happy about it. So that's what we're about to be tackling. The refrigerator is not bad. Um, it's not horrible, but it's not super organized either. But we got to start with the freezer because without the freezer, I don't know what I need to be cooking. Okay. I'm getting ready to fix Elise's breakfast. Normally I make her get up and do it, but today I'm not gonna do that just because I'm gonna let her chill while I'm organizing the um, freezer. Cause it's out of wax y'all. It's like out of wax. So I got the pan, turn on the oven, get the turkey bacon out. So these are the freezer bags that I'm about to use for the freezer. These are the baskets that I'm eventually going to be organizing. This was only um, $9 for this basket set from um, Walmart. So let's get to it, okay? Ooh, we. I. This is just so nerve wracking. Put these up here for now. start we're gonna start cooking and getting this stuff out the freezer then when we've exhausted all the groceries then we will be able to do this I wish I had more of these freezer bags because they're amazing I don't see this is gonna get them on there I'm gonna put my whole entire head up to a ponytail just to keep this out the way. Whew. We got bacon up in here, all kind of stuff. Like, 
are we supposed to know we got all this stuff up here? I'm constantly buying bacon. This stuff is like new stuff too. It's not old stuff. Mm. And it's not like organized. I got the no sets. This is a good idea though to use these freezer bags. And I know I got some more somewhere, but Maker don't work. I'm just competing with all this stuff. Right, come on. What we got? Saute onion. Who I could use that, but I would never know because why? It's all up in here. Let's see it. Ziploc steaks. We got the good eats. Look at this. We got thick, healthy steak. But our freezer saved just recently, but it's the latest stuff is in here. I'm tired of wasting money on food when we have so much of it. So that's where this organization is going to come in here. What's this? Saute garlic? It's sauteed already. Crushed garlic. No, that's crushed garlic. For um, when we doing um, greens and things. I'm probably gonna just open the box of ice cream bars and just put it in here. And we don't have a way. All right. Nice deli meats. We got food for days. Why are we going to the grocery store? Tons of stuff. This stuff made no sense. Do you need to do this too? Am I the only one? Because if I'm the only one, let me know. All right. We got nice stuff to put on the grill. I mean, come on. We ain't. No. 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 Be like, oh, I need some broccoli. Broccoli. All kinds of stuff. Now, this one I didn't freeze or save, so this gotta go. Look how frostbite. You see the difference between when you food saver food? Food saver Ziploc. Who's non Ziploc bag? Ziploc food saver vacuum seal is what I meant to say. Total, oops, total difference. Look at that. All frostbite, no good. Can last up to a year. And that's in the food saver, y'all. You won't regret it. Okay. Now, before I can get to the second half, I got to just start getting these bins in here. Let me wipe this one part out. Let's see. Okay. It's got some stuff that has spilled down in here. Ice cream, I can tell. All right. And not instantly. I'm gonna have to get to that when I get to that row because that is horrible. Okay. Put this in the bleach water. Y'all need that later. Oh, you sleeves up. Get the work. Let me see. My braids look crazy. They do, but who cares? Okay. Look, I'm working. All right. So let's see. We gonna put. This one on this row. You see that? It's this rack that's gonna go on this row. Cause I'm about to put all these meats in this. Then that's gonna create some organization. I'm trying this technique, but I'm telling you, yeah, that's the way it goes. I'm telling you, it has to work because this is getting out of hand. Okay, out of hand. 
Look in there. Get your stuff out. Okay. Put these. Good, okay, that's And then put these. Okay. I'm loving it. Okay, now I just have to see. I'm gonna do this. This I'm doing. This one, that can go on this row, and these can also go on that row. You know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna need some more of these because it can go up here like this. I'm gonna try this out. So all of the freezer veggies. I'm gonna put them in here. And then we're gonna work that out. Okay. All, right. All right. So here goes this bit. Sorry. Great. Okay, that looks good. Let's see how that does. It's gonna have to go another row. Yeah, because it's so tall, it's gonna to have to go on the next row down. So for this, things like this are good. Garlic, like that, put that stuff like this. And we put it to the side like that. So it's not taking up a whole bunch of room. I definitely want to get some more of these organizational bins. Because so many things had gotten mixed in. Okay. So this is why this is important. Use bins in your freezer. Okay, I know this is old. Let me see. Let me down with this. If it's just old, it's not staying. I'm sorry. These ice cream sandwiches, maybe they can go in here because my husband just opened them and just stuck them in right away. Like that. Put, push it to the top. These are berries. Not even been open, so we're never gonna get rid of these. Okay. Let's see. The thing that's open and I know it's frostbit is just going because this is never gonna look like this again, guys. Okay. Extra pots. Okay. Oh, get her bacon out. I can smell it. Let's see. All right, close this. I love this mash cauliflower. Let me see. Um, okay, this is so good. Get rid of that. These meats. See, every meat couldn't fit in there. And that's what I'm talking about with all this meat that we got going on here. Some of these to the side. Put that on the top. Check out the meat section before you go to the store. Goodness gracious. And it's on there, no steps. That looks so extra. I'm fussing because it just don't make no sense. You just sometimes you gotta go in and revamp the whole system. You just get sick. You're like, I'm sick. I'm sick of looking at Not that sick. Or are you about to break something? Easy. I'm just trying to put these CD ice cream sandwiches. Here, open the box and put them on any rack. No, sir. So, they go set. Okay. Now, what else do we got down here? 
for when you don't know what you have, if you don't pay attention to it, then it's stuff will be in there longer than it's supposed to. So that's why it's important to do this. Let me see. Let me know I got it over here. What's up? Oh. I haven't got enough rubber bands to keep that stuff closed. Lobsters. That didn't seem like they sealed that great because they punctured the seal. And then we got these crab legs. So that's going to have to be fixed. Okay. This is why you got to know what's in your freezer. Texas toast for days because we don't know. Look how many boxes of the Texas toast. One, two three boxes of Texas stuff. This is what happens when you can't see what's in your freezer. It's so irritating. This stuff, I know it's good. But I'm gonna serve coffee with With a refillable bag, great for the, the back up here, let me see. All right, then this whole chicken, this is a turkey, look at this. feel like how long can you let me know in the comments y'all how long can you keep a turkey that's what i need to know that's what i need to okay so some revamping i'm gonna have to move this because i forgot i gotta put this whole rack of veggies in here how long can you freeze a turkey so that can go up here you can at least know you got those all right, let's see what we're doing next. We got this, that is frosted. Then I got, now this is on me. I got tons of keto ice cream that probably ain't no good no more. Oh, I did have a whole chicken in there right now. See, that's the old, old, old. So this here goes this whole chicken. I know this is still good. I think. Nope, it's frostbit. Look at that. Frostbit. Don't make no sense. That turkey might be frostbit. I don't know. I gotta see. Alright. So, I'm gonna clean out this bottom rack because something that melted in here. Nathan's Coney Island dog, yummy, delicious. Put this up here like this. Close this real quick. Then we still gotta put other things in here. We got some ham things. Let's see what we got. We got fluffy waffles. We put that up here too. Put that up there. That last stuff is gonna be going to go up. We need to go here, but I'll slide all the way back here. Then we're gonna put the seafood that we have. Let's show you the progress. My mother in law was trying to give me a chicken, and I thought I had one that was good and regular standing, but I see it wasn't. I should have took it, but hey, whatever. So, this was all the damage pile stuff that was old or frostbitten, should I say, just not properly stored. And this is what the freezer looks like now. We have some of those burritos, ice cream sandwiches. Um, coming down. Here is the meat, as you can see, that we need to get to. So we got plenty of meat. Here goes the vegetable section. We still have some berries. Here goes like some top sauteed onions and stuff. Um, I'm gonna put this up here. That. Let's put that up here like that. I'm probably gonna put a clip on that. Here goes. I really don't like this ice cream sitting up here like this, but hey, it is what it is. These are things that needs to get cooked ASAP. So we have 
garlic naan and shrimp back there. Let's put this like this. We'll put this like this and we'll put this like this, okay? Because I just need it to look neat, okay? And then we got a hair to close. It's good. The stuff is already starting to kind of like thaw out. But it looks much, much, much better. And then here goes ice packs. The ice packs are when we used to take our lunch. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to hold on to this. This is a lunch pail that literally has an ice pack in it. We'll hold on to that stuff for now. But as you can see, look at the difference. Wow. So I'm super proud of this. Okay. You got to be proud of every accomplishment that you do. Because... Um, each accomplishment matters, okay? You gotta just see something you don't like. If you see something you don't like, you gotta take it by the reins and you gotta tackle it and change it. And only we have the ability to change the things that we do not like, okay? Instead of complaining about it. So, that has been our video. It's not Disney related, but it's important related, okay? Because we gotta start uncluttering these things to make our lives easier. Um, it's going to help us to be healthier because we'll be able to cook and know what's in the refrigerator. We'll be able to make, I can make a menu list since I am cooking more. And then I'm excited y'all because I'm looking forward to getting me a dishwasher up in here. I told Coberson he's going to have to give me a dishwasher because now that I'm the entrepreneur, the homemaker, the teacher, the wife, the dog keeper, I need a dishwasher. Okay. And not for me to just be, you know, I can just rinse a dish, put it in there, and run the load. Um, yes. Okay. So, we'll be looking at that on Saturday. I'm excited about it. All right. Thank you again for taking the time to look at this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell notification. Set it to all so you're always notified every time we come out with a new video. If you enjoyed this type of video... Because you know I told you I was taking you on a journey as I get my life in order. So if you like this type of video, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment of encouragement. You know, if you want to be transparent and say, I need to do this too. Or that was a great idea. I'm going to do that. Because I'm going to get some more of those bins for my refrigerator. Because I like how that system is. I'm not going to get a whole bunch of them. But one more set at least. Because, um, yes. To put like you know i'm gonna go through the next thing i'm gonna go through is this refrigerator it's not too bad so i'm not gonna do that today but i will take you on that journey okay all right remember the sweet life is the right life and we'll see you real soon bye bye